Over a hundred years ago, the young, adventurous Norwegian Thomas Bakke Gabrielsen from Holmestrand left the military academy and travelled to the city of Cognac. In France, Thomas fell in love with Cognac. He tasted it and immediately knew what he wanted to do. He started to learn how to make Cognac. Two years later, in 1905, he started a cognac company with his friend Petter Anton Roustard and also married the other love of his life, Odette. Life was good, but then in 1916, the prohibition began. With spirits now being illegal, Thomas thought to himself, what can I do? Thomas got creative and he found a loophole that enabled him to still sell his cognac. He added a new cognac and replaced the three stars on the bottle with three crosses and sold it to pharmacies as medicine. People started lining up at the doctor, dentist and veterinarian's office to get a prescription for cognac. This was the birth of the iconic cognac Très Corse and it became a household item in Norway. In the following years, the Bakke Gabrielsen business was handed over from generation to generation of Bakke Gabrielsen sons. It went from Thomas to René, and from René to Christian, who took over the business in 1985. In his years of running the business, Christian expanded the Bakke Gabrielsen cognac range and in 2009, with the cognac market at an all-time high, he decided it was time to pass over the family business to his oldest son, Hervé. Tradition is surviving, but the brand is still evolving and Hervé has his own visions and plans for the future. It all started with one man's passion and love for cognac. And it's safe to say that this passion and love will continue to be passed on for generations of Bakke Gabrielsons to come.